Since the 1970s, satellites have been taking pictures of the Earth every day. These images have fundamentally changed our understanding of human impacts on the land, whether it's watching cities grow, like here in La Paz, Bolivia, or watching deforestation from space as agriculture expands into tropical forest. Despite the potential of remote sensing of water quality to be similarly transformational, satellite images of water have not yet had that same impact. Here, we hope to change that. This video shows Landsat satellites, five in red and seven in yellow, taking pictures of rivers in the continental USA in 2011. Every time a cloud-free satellite image is taken, the rivers in the image light up. These images can be used to predict vital water quality information like algae biomass or dissolved carbon content. However, these predictions have historically been limited in spatial scope and required intensive research to build accurate algorithms. We think such work has been limited by the lack of an open access big data set that could be used to train artificially intelligent algorithms that are able to make robust predictions at the global scale. To build this data set, we paired this satellite imagery with another archive of publicly available data, water quality data for the continental USA stored in the water quality portal. Now this video shows a bright colored flash every time someone took a sample on a major river in the United States with red flashes for carbon samples, blue flashes for sediment samples, and green flashes for algae samples. Such samples paired with that satellite imagery provide a key missing piece for making global water quality predictions. Using Google Earth Engine, open source programs, and by partnering with the United States Geological Survey, we built such a data set called Aquasat. This final video shows the same information from satellites and water quality samples showed previously, but this time they are paired together. Every time there's a bright white flash, we captured a matchup between someone directly recording water quality information in a water body and a satellite taking a picture of the same water body. This video just shows rivers, but we have built the data set for all inland waters dating back to 1984. Together, these data sets comprise the largest matchup data set ever assembled and represent more than 550,000 matchups. Pairing such a large data set with artificial intelligence will allow an, impress, an unprecedented predictive framework to understand global water quality change, and we hope have the same impact on people's understanding of water quality change as land use change.